Have you ever made a mistake and your natural desire was to hide it or deflect blame to someone else? I have. It's something of a natural reflex in our broken world to try to protect ourselves. This is even more pronounced for people in leadership positions. The pressure of being the expert or the person who has it all together or to exhibit strength and it's especially profound for people who others look to for guidance and leadership. Sadly, this natural reflex often creates the opposite effect, creating mistrust. What is the antidote to this destructive pride in the life of a Christian leader? How can a pastoral and lay Christian lead differently? The answer starts with humility. In Deuteronomy 17, 14 and following, God lays out how leaders, in this case kings, ought to behave. Notably, they are to rely on God and not on wealth, political alliances, or a strong military. But it's the second part of these instructions that really intrigues me. The biblical text says that they are to write on a scroll a copy of the law taken from the Levitical priests. They are to carry the scroll with them and to read it and reflect in it all the days of their life so that they might learn to revere the Lord and follow carefully all the words of his laws and not consider themselves better than their fellow Israelites. The leader is to first humble themselves before God. The reading of the law was a reminder of who the true king or leader of Israel is. And through this reading, the leader learns to revere the Lord and follow God's laws and decrees. Second, leaders are to humble themselves and not consider themselves better than those they lead. It is this kind of humility that allows a leader to be corrected by God and by those they lead. I think this is why the concept of humility is demonstrated so profoundly in Jesus' life. Although the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, he became a servant. He led by taking up the towel and the bowl and washing the feet of his disciples. And as Paul tells us in Philippians chapter two, Christ shows us the way by emptying himself, becoming human with us, becoming a servant even to the point of death, even death on a cross. It is the same Jesus who reminds us that, quote, I have set an example that you should do as I have done for you. To be a Christian leader, we each have to live in humility. Or as Peter says in 1 Peter 5, clothe yourselves with humility towards one another. Whether as a pastoral leader in the church or as a Christian follower in a secular context, lead like Jesus did in humility. <laughs>